Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of Thoughts That Work. We are going to be sharing with you a different approach on how you view your body types. Um, majority of us are already familiar with the three current body types that we have, the mesomorph, endomorph and the ectomorph. But today we wanted to share with you a different view of how you can see these body types. So in a very similar concept, which originated thousands of years ago in India, Ayurveda is known as the science of life or also known as the mother of healing. So the five elements as we know it, space, air, fire, water and earth, these five elements combine and permutate to form three types of energies which are also known as doshas. So these three types of energies are known as the vata, pitta and kapha. Every individual can have a dominant dosha. So you can either be dominant in your vata, pitta or kapha. For the very first dosha that we will be discussing today is the dosha vata. So people with the dosha vata, typically they have a smaller and lighter frame. And the personality traits include being very creative, very active, very spontaneous and very open to new experiences. So when you're out of balance for this dosha, typically they will be very fatigued very anxious, they will be very easily irritable and face anxieties. So similar to having air-like qualities, people with the dosha vata, typically they find it hard to find internal stillness and hence it might be a challenge for them to meditate. For the pita dosha, it consists of fire and water elements and usually people who are dominant in this area are decisive, intelligent and hardworking as well. And when out of balance, you can also spot symptoms like being short-tempered, um, having high blood pressure or even like digestion issues and feeling hungry more frequently. Having fire-like qualities also means that you are more hyper-productive as well as goal-oriented and very organized. As for meditations, you can you also incorporate visualizations into your techniques if you are familiar with that as well. So for the third dosha that we will be discussing will be the dosha on Kapha. So in a way, kapha is the other extreme of vata. So people with the dosha kapha, typically they have a sturdier frame. Generally, they are more compassionate, more patient, more understanding and more loyal. So for people with the, this dosha kapha, typically when they are out of balance, they will have um, possibly asthma, they will have uh, diabetes and they will gain weight easily. And similarly to the earth, people with the dosha kapha, they are more grounded and slow. But sometimes when they meditate, they tend to turn meditation into nap time instead. So this is not recommended for you to meditate lying down. So if you'd like to find out on how to determine your Ayurvedic body type, we have left a quiz for you in a link in the description below. So please feel free to click on it and find out what body type you are. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please click, share or like Omzone. In our next episode, we will be talking more about your doshas and what kind of food you can eat to balance your dosha. So we'll see you in the next episode. Take care for now.